I saw those fluffy Frenchies come out, and because I seen how the game is constantly, you know, changing and people just go on these fad runs and stuff like that, I actually thought about two years ago, you know, after that pandemic run, everybody was spending all that money on those damn exotics. I say eventually it's going to get to the point where everybody going to have the lilac tries, everybody going to have the murals, and they're always looking for the next thing to say, I got this, ain't nobody got that. So I don't really care for them, but I, I was like, man, should I get me a fluffy Frenchie and a bully and start making it so I can be ahead when this come around? But I got to actually like the dog that I'm feeding or I'm not. And I, I just don't really care for it. But I already I already knew that it was about that. They're going to start breeding them damn things and, you know, give it to like the end of the year, next year. <laughs> The regular bullies ain't going to be that much hype no more. They're going to be trying to make fluffy excels. And I'm telling you, I, the game, if you look back at how this game started, it was always the rappers. You had Corrupt and Andre 3000 and all of them, you know, in the magazines and stuff back then, hyping it up. And it's whatever whatever you start seeing, you know what I mean, getting the traction is everybody going to, well, I ain't going to say everybody, but it's, it's going to have a lot of people trying to follow it a trend and eventually it's going to get played out, but I, I've seen them. I've seen nah. the fluffy bullies. I, it's, nah, if you want a fluffy bully, why not then just again, go? Why? That goes back to what I said earlier about all of these exotics and shit got hung papers because we've been breeding bullies since 2009. We've never seen a fluffy bully. So you mean to tell me you about to hand me some ABR, ABKC paperwork and this shit gonna have a, and this damn dog gonna look like a Pekingese and a and and a exotic bully? Like, come on, man. You, what kind of paperwork am I getting? Because this this fur gene wasn't recessive, ain't just come out of thin air. What they gonna tell you? Oh, this this but my bullies always had the fluffy gene. <laughs> no, come on, man. Like this, yeah, it's, it's, it's you, all a, it's all a fad, man. If you want a fluffy bully though, or a fluffy dog, it's so many breeds out here already that's already fluffy. People and just I mean, man, they about to try to put them bowls on that motherfucker. It's about to be a hey, man. They about to have them fluffy bullies with them elbows and that underbite. It's gonna have underbite ears done and bow legs and shit. Nano, nano fluffy. That, that's crazy, man. <laughs> we 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 are the only community, man. And I think that's why you know this community. We 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 kind of a laughing stock, yeah. You know, to other dog communities, man. Because we 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 the only community that accepts and does this type of stuff, man. And and that goes back to like what I was saying earlier about. If you Google like German Shepherd breeders, Labrador retrievers, you go to their page, it's just some, you know, happy, you know, family that's out in the country that's been raising German Shepherds for, for three decades. And they all of the dogs look the same and they and they can sell it. They got the clients. They ain't got to talk no shit. They ain't have to add no color. It's just consistency. The bull, a bully breeder that's been breeding a standard, a same look for so long if he don't adapt to what's hyped up at the moment he'll get left behind like you can't even just stick to your vision sometimes if the if you're breeding for money i would say now if you're just breeding for your own vision and you don't care like hey, if ain't nobody buying this and i can't keep it on my yard i'll just find it a loving home i'm sure a doctor on craigslist or, or facebook or somebody will come happily adopt it and give it a loving home but if i'm breeding for money now I got to see what the customers want. Now it's a supply and demand thing. Okay, they don't want my tall bullies no more, my pockets. Now I got to shrink this down another three inches to keep clients coming in. So the bully, you got to keep on adapting to what's going on or you're going to, or you're going to fall off. It's no way to retain customers if they're not, if they get caught up with something else they see on their Instagram feed, you know, so. How, how will we, ever be able to call this breed a real breed if you got to keep changing things up to to keep you, up with the pace 
of what's going on, that means the look of the dog is continually changing. You're so, not, not going to ever have this uh, become one breed.